Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. In this tutorial, we will learn how to record a voiceover track inside DaVinci Resolve. First, we will see the regular workflow, then we will check all the various preferences to make it work. Here, in my edit page, I've got my project, which is a tutorial from MTitle Cinematic 2 for DaVinci Resolve. The editing is almost done and the two music tracks have been added. To add a voiceover, we will need to switch to the Fairlight page. First, I will add a new audio track, so I'll do a right click, select Add Track, and create a mono one. By double clicking on the name, I will rename the track VoiceOver. Then, I will open the mixer panel. Inside the mixer panel, we'll find our three audio tracks, and we will be able to select an input for any track. In this case, we would like to set our microphone to the VoiceOver track, so I will click on No Input, and select Input. A dedicated window will open. This window will allow us to patch our microphone as input for one or many audio tracks. In this case, I would like to patch a microphone with the track 3, the voiceover track. So I will select both and click on Patch. Then I will close the window. Inside the mixer panel, we can see that the microphone road is set as input. Next, inside the audio track, I will click on the R icon. The icon will arm the audio track to record the voiceover. We can preview it and check the audio level. Test, 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 test. So let's record a sentence. I will set the playhead at the right position and click on the record button to start. Now we'll mute the music on track two to focus on the voiceover. Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. M-Title Cinematic is a finely craft cinematic captions pack and it's now available for DaVinci Resolve. You can stop it at any time and do some retakes. Just stop the record, check your record. Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. M-Title Cinematic is a finely craft cinematic captions pack and it's now available for DaVinci Resolve. And place the playhead where you need to restart and press the record button again. And it's now available for DaVinci Resolve. and it's now available for DaVinci Resolve. When you are done, you can adjust the level for each audio clip, or you can push the global level of the track directly inside the mixer panel. Of course, if you switch back to the edit page, you will get your new voiceover track with your record. As we just seen, the workflow is quite simple, but there are many preferences to check to be sure to get everything working. First, you will need to check that on Windows, Linux, or Mac, that your microphone is set as a main audio input inside your operating system. Also, you will need to check that the frequency of the microphone is set to 48 kHz. To do it on my Mac, I will need to open the Audio MIDI Setup tool inside the Utilities folder, and we can see that the Rode Podcaster microphone is set to 48 kHz. Next, in DaVinci Resolve, you will need to open the System's Preferences. Inside the video and audio I.O., you will have to check that the right input is selected. And in the project settings, in the capture and playback section, you will be able to define where the audio file will be recorded. This could be very useful if you need to send the file to someone else. One last detail, inside the Fairlight page, you may not hear and see the audio preview when the R icon is enabled. This doesn't mean that the record won't work or that your microphone is not well patched. For example, I can press the record button and record some words. As you can see and hear, it will record, but no preview. So if you don't have the audio preview, go to the Fairlight menu and go to the Input Monitor style and verify that the selected option is set to Auto or Input. Test, 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 test. Okay, so now you are ready to record your own voiceover inside DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.